Welcome to FFA Masters League. No, it's not FFA Masters League. This is Team Battle Royale. Uh, match number three. A Team FFA on Market Square tonight. And with me, hopefully, in a couple of seconds, Shave. But let's hope everyone is able to join the game. So it took some minutes to get everything going. Unfortunately, these days we do have some join issues with custom games, but we always find a way to eventually get there. So it's on. And we do have a lot of undeads here. And um, an orc. One second. Let's hope it's working for him now. Uh, looking fine, I guess. Okay, so we do have an undead elf team here in the bottom left. We do have a human undead team top left. Night elf, orc top right and undead or bottom right so really a wild mix of races and a map that's tricky for team ffa usually it's not the, on one hand not the best map for team ffa um, but it's usually very action-packed sometimes matches and too quickly but um, if like all goes well we can expect very nice fights from start to finish so it's not one of these matches where it takes quite some time until everyone like gets a tier 3 army usually attacks um attack start rather early so um interested to see what teams are going to go for here and let me quickly check if the sound is looking fine i guess it does so um Orc here in the bottom right going for TC first, which I really like. Um, I think like if you have an ally that you can creep with, I think TC might be the better choice. It scales much better in Team FA. On the other hand, like on this map, there are a lot of items that really favor um, a Blade Master, but you may not get many of these a items anyway. So are under attack. Um, maybe trying to sneak Get himself a rod of necromancy here um, for the tc2 so um, that would make it a bit easier for him to creep gets the assassin the brown on that player going for dk um, with this ally ally picking a dark ranger so he can be coiled interesting though i think dark ranger a player's force it's always a tricky choice i'm not the huge the hugest Dark Ranger fan anyways, but um, in Team FFA, hmm, I, I don't know if I really like it. I think there are better heroes. I think Hannah much better um, first. I think a hero like Alchemist a better keeper maybe first, but we'll see. Um, top left MK first. Very unusual, the players forces um, are but attack. strong hero focus here coming up DK for dark green and very interesting to see an extremely early middle creep by this top right team so I really like to see that um, not quite sure if they will be able to finish it all these skeletons immediately this well so it needs to be a bit careful he was out of range of this under penalty for some time, but now with the head under So that's very interesting, and um, they are delaying their expos, which can become an issue later on. But take this mid early. Oh, great scouting, and they may rush for the middle immediately, trying to sneak the big uh, wizard here. Are they? 
Oh, maybe they are not, okay. they're not, not willing to contest it here. And depending on what item they get, that is a nice pick of here. I wonder if it makes sense for one of these players to put both expansions and for the other to take all of these mid creep camps, which are rather easy to create and it's a very easy way to get experience without um, walking long distance. Crown of Kings? He passed it, yeah, right. I was about to say it's not really useful on the Dark Ranger, but it's an amazing item on this Pit Lord. Um, getting the additional armor um and stamina also it's a, I, I think it's actually one of the best items here you can get like obviously ring like ring protection also very good for him and claws but um, i think crown of kings is a really super solid item for this pitbull early he's taking a bit too much damage here on this dark ranger so be careful to not catch a bow Now potentially with me, Shave. Hello. Hello, everyone. Ah, uh, I need to increase your volume. Give me one sec. Say something. Uh, hello <laughs> again. Again? Say something. Last time. <laughs> Am I loud enough now? Yes, I think you are. I think it's good. Um, should be fine now. So yeah, uh, thanks for joining. Um, at some at some point in time we will be able to get your new microphone on board also but i guess this is fine for now um and much better than wow, your okay. laptop micro <laughs> okay yeah it's quite old i, I don't know i bought it a microphone but it's not it isn't showing it so no idea why it says it's connecting but i it doesn't show me anymore yeah i think this is fine so um did you follow the match so so far? No. Or? Okay. No, I had to go to my car to get my tablet. To we. Something to see again. Yeah, we do have. Sorry, go ahead. I don't even know what is it. Two and two is it pre team <laughs> FFA? I have no, no, idea. it's it's team FFA, um, regular team FFA, and we do have uh, several different or four different combinations of of races and very interesting heroes here so um i think there might be a first engagement here at the bottom between the teal blue team and the orange brown one the yeah, tc team yeah yeah i have team colors on now it's much better now i can see it team everything yeah i think i should do the same Probably mm. the best. On the minimap they have team colors, but in game they... Yeah, you're right, it's better. So the top right team crept, like the first... The first uh, red, uh, creep spot they took was the mid camp, which I found very interesting. How early did they take it? They... Directly? Yeah, 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 I think pretty early. I think right after the green camp here. Um, right after the green okay. spot they took it. Pitlord. With Pitlord and um PC. All right, Dark Ranger. Dark okay, Ranger, yeah. yeah. The Dark Ranger is so great to treat this because of all the levels. One where the becoming skeletons. Yeah. And also you're denying the wizards from casting counter skeletons, so yeah. Dog Ranger could go to kill dead creep camp very early. And Dog Ranger is also, I believe. Maybe my favorite hero for Tier 2. What about you? Two? I, I already said I'm. I'm not quite sure, but I'm on a on a Dark Ranger hate trip, anyways. But I'm. I'm. It's it's a nice hero on paper. Like you can silence more heroes at once. But I'm not a huge fan. Um, I think she dies very quickly. But yeah, maybe this game proves me wrong. Like two Dark Rangers here, so 
definitely potential to get some silences off and maybe to charm some worms later. We'll see. Or maybe it's also just me because my fights are always so laggy and tune, 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 tune. Maybe. Tune. Yeah. I have no way to dispel silence. So for me, it's a huge deal if I have a Fred Dog Ranger. Yeah, I just think like Panda first, for example, or Keeper first. Like, it's, I, I didn't I, think Panda is that good because he has a damage cap. He's like not stronger in Team FFA than in normal FFA, but like Aura heroes, like Podium is insanely good. Yeah. With True Shot Aura or Starfire, which has no damage cap, or K KOTG with Ultimate, or Fiddlord with all things that have no damage cap. Yeah, I think that's, that's true. Really great. Panda is the same as a normal FFA, in my opinion. Yeah, but I think he's still very solid and in on, on a map like this usually you don't see that many 200 supply fights. It's more like 100, 150 to 160 usually and, I, and I do think it's... We have the first fight here. Oh yeah. Um, Yellow versus dark green. I need to be careful here. Um, a lot of snipe potential from the back so they won't be able to fight this, will they? Seriously. Yeah. Seems they want to well, fight this. Beard. The beards are. Oh, the paladin. Focusing the level four MK, they should be able to fight this with all the spears. Yeah, like bears are at this level against fiends and spellbreakers, pretty strong still. Well, so. Well, it depends what the MK is doing. A level four MK, either they, if they go for the hero snap, they can definitely make them TP. Yeah, if they're focusing the dark ranger now. That was a nice fall, but there's no follow up damage for the beard here. And very it's nice, really very nice Bad reach through. Yeah, oh, the Dark Ranger! The Dark Ranger! Wow, TPing out on 20 HP. So Yellow was really quick with the heal on his Dark Ranger. Yeah. With, from the beer to counter the human trank to nuke it while the Dark Green team had a bit of a bad team negotiator team play there, in my opinion. They could have easily hero focused, but they didn't. So they don't seem to be that familiar on playing with each other, not the best team chemistry, I would say, from that fight. While the Yellow Elf showed some good micro, in my opinion. Yeah. That might be and interesting. I'm... I see the Yellow team. And I'm not a huge fan of Undead what? Human, of Undead Human, especially on this map. Like on bigger maps, for sure, but not on this map. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Undead having the orb on the Dark Ranger instead of the Lich. I'm not sure if he just bought it and didn't have it before. But I don't know, I, for Focus Fire I prefer this person, so probably, but I prefer much more on the Lich. Yeah, but the Lich, have... the Lich died as a Lich, but yeah. they can't hold this. Like, the bears yeah, are just... There's no way. The yellow team is gonna mop the floor with them. Yeah. Yeah, the KOTG even ate the Breaker. This is probably not better. Yeah. This is apparently some decent micro in the other one. While the dark green one uh, was a nice TP, dodging the storm there. Now the humans coming in with MK first. I believe like yellow team is probably two solo players, I would say. Could imagine that with Beer Rush, Headhunter, Kodo on Market Square. Red on FFA armies, even for tune, tune, tune. Like as or especially in Team FFA, you would most FFA players would skip headhunters, I would assume, because you don't need them. You don't yeah. need them if you play to creep on this map alone already, mm -hmm. and especially don't need them in Team FFA with a night elf. So I creep it up. Yeah, I think the, you said, yeah. that was the team that crept the middle first, right? Uh, yep, and we do see a second engagement here at the bottom, and I think the headhunters here against the Talents could become very nice. Like, there's not much AoE here that could, um, like, there's a Lich and the a low level, like a level 1 Dreadlord, but I think these headhunters are really um, standing strong here against the Talents, it seems. So, the DK very exposed, what's the DK doing here? Um, so he should hold back his DK, and yeah, two, three heroes dying. So uh, these Talents really are not a good choice. I think I should think Talents yeah, are like, horrible um, in like in this mess. Like, the, where's the damage? Like they had some worms, yeah. but yeah, and you, 
especially for what? Like cycling against Headhunter is like completely useless. You yeah. don't have damage output and you have six heroes that will nuke the fuck out of you if you go that many low HP units. Yeah. Which Talons are. So that's tactically not the best choice to go Talons there. So it seems to be that light blue team is winning on the downside while the yellow team is yeah completely destroying the dog. Green team not well taking one expansion in the corner of them actually was leaving the middle one alone. So at the current state my guess would be that the dog green team dies first and then the yellow team probably will get the team hard if they don't which they are doing, they are slowing down. They are afraid this might happen, so they will a little bit slow down now, take an exposed in silence, uh, lick their wounds and not just go for their head. They could yep. easily finish up, but they want to avoid an early, let's call it three-way, even if a six-player would be that. This is, yeah, I like that. This is what I would do in the position as well. Do you think they, uh, like being the yellow team, I think it's a tricky situation always if you're basically forced to piece your one-on-one or your, but I, I think they should still just finish green, right? And I think that's what they're going to do. Um, I think the best they should do is like they have a pot in, they have wards, they should yeah. stay low and they should scout, 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 see what's happening on the other side. And when it comes to a point where is the booth on the other side a week, so weak that they won't be able to team them hard. Like now, they would get teamed down. It's but I think, yeah, I, but I think they, they need to finish. Them. They need to finish green. Like they took both expansions here. So They're and this it. and this pit lord is so amazing against these spell breakers. So it's so much yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah. Look at that Believe damage. It. Like Fucking that crown, great. crown and clause plus nine. Really amazing here. Um, so who do you think dark green is? I, I can't, I can since I have access to team channels, I can't, um, like, I I don't know who's who, like, I know at least four of the players I, I know because of the races, but I'm not entirely sure on the others, so I will not make any guesses, so it's up, all up to you. <laughs> but but do you think they all play their main races, or do they, like, DV, for example, if they, like, let's say DV would be playing with, I don't even know the team that much, but if he's playing with Sheik, they wouldn't go double arm that DB would like maybe a switch to Elf or Orc or Hume and have a better. I think everyone's on main race here. Oh. Like from what I see, everyone's on main race. So the yellow team for me is currently the one that put the most thinking into this matchup. It's the most try hard one. The heroes are really great yep. for uh, 2 and 2 and 2. They had a, a, a United Creep route prepared where they both needed to team uh, to work together. Yep. So they are definitely, I, I don't know, they have great micros, so I would have put them on solo business, but from the try hard factor, I would I would say they are yep. no, I at agree. least they had some sort of, like not some Rambo, that's, that's not some Rambo brainless playing here. It's, Smart play as well. Mm -hmm. Thought through. I think it's not making sense by Brown to attack yellow now. I think they should, like, they can take this green expansion here. So I think they should wait for green yeah. to leave. And it does make yeah. sense to keep the fourth player in game. Like, as usual, it's always like people are helping too quickly. Like, they won't get any experience of this. And they will just keep the fourth team in game. And it's it's not for their benefit now. So blue, I think blue team is doing it right i think they are just standing back one on okay the the orc just dropped to 50 supply so i think that's the right call here by the blue team i think one in this situation if you're obviously not going to be attacked anytime soon one player should be on 50 at all times i don't yeah. think um yeah and it's the same for brown like the elf is on 50. um i would like to see like I think it can be wise to have one player with both ex both expansions. I think it makes sense. It's it's so m much more efficient if one player can stay on two expansions on fifty, instead of like one mining one on eighty and the other on fifty. Like on this map, there's not much gold for all teams. So the dog green team is out. Can we see now somewhere where the players were? 
I would say they weren't the strongest players. Would be my opinion. It would be like, I don't know, DV and TDV, TDW. I would be surprised. Let's say it like that. Um, I won't tell yet, but I think if it's the players, I think it was... It wasn't... It, 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 we, we did see two strong players um, on the top left that have not prepared well for this match most likely like for at least strategy wise it seemed like that but um i only reveal once it's over i get flamed probably by someone okay okay so there, there's well, still creeps left right like was this red camp creeped here yeah no i, it's... I don't know but apparently not shop is still available <laughs> and i have a question like uh -huh. did the yellow team only got one expansion in the start no it's... expansion before the mid they just no, no, but did they take two um, or did they take one? Because they took this one from the dark green team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you're right. I, I have, I, I saw him. So the the orc was creeping that, but apparently not taking it. So I'm surprised by that. The yellow had it and blue killed it or what? No, no, I think the orc never, I, I didn't see, I, th I don't think blue killed it. So I think it was never really taken, was never actually taken by the orc. So um, the orc just okay, crept so. it. So now yellow is going for dark brown who can, well, deck Brown canceled an expansion of theirs and took the green main base camp. So this is interesting, it's like they are not standing, they, well, they didn't have the choice of standing there because Brown was going for them. Yeah. Now they directly strike back and with deadly force, I would say. Only Brown Elf still has 3k. And his moon was lined up like it's trunks. From the base layout, you could assume that so it might be. I know that Foxius has quite a similar base, but it's like more with the ancient protect guys as guy as well, I would say. And I know trunks well, the last time I saw trunks playing was like some undercover play because he was afraid of getting teamed. <laughs> I don't think it is Trunks. So I, 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 I think I've never seen Trunks with pit load, so that will be... <laughs> yeah, but um... it would be like Manip by him. If, mm. it, if this... You no, know, I mean like the Dark Brown Al could be. Okay. All those tailor from the base layout simply. There's Moon World there. Yeah, many, many players go for these two... Many players go for this these two rows of moonwells here. We have a fight breaking out. Um, yellow on oh, we but blue from the back. So we have raw on the yellow team in the air. The blue team comes from the back with last worms, last beans. Fork is still on fifty, has absolutely no lumber, and went for a TC first. I I, I haven't seen this before. So I'm mentioning, mentioning it now. TC first, SH second as an alchemist third. Yeah. They on the TC, that is nice. That, that's sort of B100 play. Wow, and the blue team is actually... Iranicus. The blue team is actually attacking the brown team here at the top left? Or is it an accident? It no. seems so. Well, this, this, is, this is the undead going a little bit Rambo and his... Ellie telling him to back off. <laughs> I've often been in the situation that I take people and I, and I would just want to get some experience. And my Ellie is like, no, 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 go back, go back, don't piss them off. <laughs> and I like them off. So, it, so yeah, that was the situation. But while yellow team is going to the blue main base where Boof are TPing in, so the orc is going back. It's just tricky. Like the yellow team is looking like they're taking all the expansions but they just can't they won't be able to finish it like they don't have gold yet they have the levels but it's just way too early to finish someone off really um especially yeah. with bears i think they they would need chimeras um and they have just one so i think they need why, sorry yeah it's why i said they should should have uh, waited with finishing dark queen they should have just gain a little bit gold, observe the other one on one and don't strike too early because it was quite obvious that whoever wins one on one first yeah. will get team. Yeah, team. but they pieced at the bottom. They, they pieced early. right after green said um the green team said they would be dead, so I don't think the bottom team would have left them alone. Yeah, so. 
I think it was the right call to just finish them. I, I don't think it's risky. And Speed Squall here by the eat the yellow teams. Dark Brown TP. Dark Brown DK has no TP. It is. You need to be careful. Unusual for FFA. So. So the Did blue team hold it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Did Infinity joined TBR? Infinity joined, yeah. Um, okay. So um, the blue team hoarded pretty well early, so they didn't spend much gold bef um, until now. So the orc is on 5k gold, the undead on almost 6k too. So the blue team on around 10k, the brown team on roughly 6k, so not a huge difference yet. Um, the yellow team is also roughly on 7 to 8k, so it's pretty balance still obviously the levels of this yellow team much better but they will just get teamed hard for some time now i i think so i like all these um all these uh watch awards here out on the map so i think that's pretty well done by yellow so which is sort of unusual for orcs on market square in my opinion by experience that i play it is the wood p and the deck tangents like Light blue has three wood points in total at the expansion, and yellow doesn't have a single one. Usually, orcs on market square tend to mine the wood from the expansions first for emptying the main base because you will be in trouble later. But they so they have okay. yeah, but they have allies with a lot of lumber. So the two like two teams have elf allies, and the one has an undead. So I don't think lumber will be an issue for orcs here. Um, but it's like. It's like you're used to it to do it as well. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that might be true. And do you it think. Is... Sorry. Yeah. Do you think wyverns are. I, because personally, I think, like, on one hand, bloodlusted wyverns can be very deadly, but I just think they suck if you have an, ally, an elf ally. I think the elf should go purely chippo and the orc should go purely casters, like a kodo, and just add some bets if needed, if there's too much enemy air. But I think the orc should not go for wyvern, should he? Yeah, I will. I will answer after this beautiful fight here. There is a lot of bad detonating into the wyvern while the people riders get wet. So wet is quite good in tune, to my opinion. We see a lot of focus fire on the orc heroes instead of the castles. Now the SH is going down. Has a TP. Has the pop. Oh, it. the DK. And the DK. The yellow is doing well. The DK will get. No, wow. That was always. okay. The lich had also TP, but that was very close. Nice fight here for yellow. Yeah, I think at, at some point they need to lose a fight, I guess. <laughs> like they're just dominating every fight, which makes it very tricky to stay under the radar here. So they will just get teamed forever here. And on the paper, they should have not, if you just go by units, they should have not won that fight. The hippos were wet. They had a lot of bets as well that were detonated too well, in my opinion. Should have turned off web, then the, yeah. then turn on. Maybe. It was a bit of a miscalculation. So, to your question, it, it is quite hard. It depends a lot on what army you are facing. Like, chimps are nice, but let's let's say you have a lot of bets and the enemy enemy only has tanks or something, and you're in ground or like yeah. and, or like high HP flying units like burns or something with aura shit. Bats don't get stronger in tune to to from aura while like worms get could get eight, uh, plus armor from Paladin or Ultimate instead of and bats just always remain the same strength so they fall off heavily in my opinion. Okay. And to, to, to. When we when we last played I had a lot of bats. I think it was the tune to the, the the twelve way team FFI. I played with Tyrant. I think I went pure bad, and I detonated them all quite okay. And there was still so much anti air still left for the enemy team that we had a trouble. Okay. We did what we did. Yeah, what you suggested. So yeah, yellow team is absolutely dominating here, and they are they are just so buff. Plus 30 damage on the Zipper Riders with all these arrows and roar. And the elf is always making sure to use every fight I've seen. 
he has used raw yet. While the other teams, so especially the dark brown one, lack like micro, in my, my opinion. I haven't seen enough from the light blue one, but I would suggest the second strong is so uh, pl playing wise from from skill level. Up. Yeah, I think the like, yellow team is doing very well here. I think it's also like they they are managing the so they are microing very well. So it's kind of difficult, except with the bats, to get experience for the other teams. So I think they might like if this continues, maybe they have a chance to really pull this through. I still think like the elf needs way more chimeras in this situation, especially the yellow team could finish could try to finish one of these teams, could try to finish th the blue team um, if he had more chimeras, but I don't think they will be able to do that with all these wyverns, so um, they are going for the defense here and yeah, light blue needs to be careful here, it's on like pumping up, like everyone's going for mass worms against the Stark Ranger I'm surprised um, that no one's going for mass gargs I mean, like, look at that, like, uh, light blue, he, he got a death knight hack and then he still had a TP on leash directly when he saw this guy from arriving and saw his death knight was hacked, he should have triggered the TP on the leash instead, instead of relying on TPing with... Yeah, that's true. Death knight, he lost way more due to that, seems unbeatable, hey, uh, hey, uh, yeah, who, who would write that? Who writes like that, like, Ishan writes like that? Chat wise. It's like this. It's minute, but it's like. Or it's a player who or it's a player who doesn't who, who really thinks it's unbeatable. <laughs> I think yeah, again for for yellow team, I think um chimeras are like key. I think he needs more chimeras. Okay, there are more chimeras streaming in now, so I think that's desperately needed. And I'm really surprised that none of the undeads here is going for mass gargs. So obviously hippos are better. So brown team does it right, I think. Um, but oh, that's a lot of bets here. And I think Garks would have been better, no? Like all these bets here. Look at no, that bet army. Yeah, they, they need this bet. But I don't think Garks would have solved a lot here with these auras and especially with all. Wow, and all the betting? Are they managing? They will need, they will try to go for an asset bomb first. Oh, nice splitting on the hippo rider there. But not on the oh, orc air units, so... Not the best betting. So that was a lot of experience for these um, light blue heroes. The alchemist is still level 2 though, so... I mean, he, he wasted so much bet into healing wards and SH heal and protection scroll and other scrolls the counter bets. I mean, nice staff here. Killed, killed a lot, yeah. Yeah, uh, the... yeah. So nice. Is he hunting down the alchemist with very low stop? Yeah, hits it. The leash has it to be in an evil pot. Oh, needs to be careful. Focus fire on the. Nah, it does get out with an evil pot. Yeah, I think the so worms are doing. Why is he staying in? What is he trying to accomplish there? He should have just directly pulled the key. Yeah, he's trying to focus on the Dark Ranger. Wow. 25. It's. I, I think that was. Would have been possible to kill that Dark Ranger or that Potom. So. Almost killing it. So that was very costly for. Um, the Dark Brown was hitting Yellow Team as well. And Yellow Team lost all expansions except one empty and the one that's building up currently. And the yellow elf has only 48 food with 2k gold. While the orc, okay, orc has 5k, no wood. And they yeah, also no food. So yellow team wins all fights so far. Plays really good by the most part, and, and yet they are currently in a losing position. That's, that's why it's so important to not finish your one on one too early while the two other teams are not. Yeah, it was a bit too early, maybe. I think in general they just attacked too early, potentially, but I mean, their army was built to attack that early. Oops. Uh, you know, it's it fine that they attacked the Dark Green Key. The problem was that they finished them so early. 
it should have just let them alive, mm. keep them low, even if they get a little bit tipped. If they get a little bit tipped, it's fine. I'm, I'm not. But when I'm, the yeah. is dead, they get tipped hard. They get tipped real hard. Yeah, but I'm not. I, I'm not a fan of that because you never know if you have a chance to finish them later. And if if they they immediately piece at the bottom, and if that's the case, I think you should just make sure it becomes a three way and not remains um, a four way. So I think it was it was a good decision. I think it's a four way FFA. I would agree. In Team FFA, I hmm. can okay. different because it's way harder in On... Team FFA to handle teaming. Yeah, I mean, in, in other, yeah, on, on other maps, I agree on this map, I think where you just take these two expansions and you're like the team you're trying to keep alive. is just like doomed. It's they will just continue to like cry and harass. And then if once if the you, other team, did, did the dark green team cry much? I don't think. Yeah, yeah, they did. They immediately wrote that they are dead, like not much, but the bottom team yeah, pieced but... and scouted. So I think. That since the yellow team took the expansions right away, I think there was no point. If they hadn't taken these expansions, maybe. But with these expansions, like no one, I I don't know. But let's see what's happened. What's going to happen now? Okay, yellow team immediately TPing out here, and yeah. um, here. It, I I like that the blue team is staying on double fifty, so both players on fifty supply. In this situation, they. Do have the chance to gather a lot of gold here staying a bit under the radar since the brown team is very superior with like with regard to mines yeah well i i hope the yellow team win because they play really great in my opinion so if we believe these are all people playing on the main races Mm -hmm. and orcs picked orc and orc definitely has sort of good micro could be like who do we have on the orc we have like won't be ironicus i believe might be ina might be b100 so Played it all really well with great team play, and they are. Well, wow, and... the hippos! They need to TP out here. Yeah. Oh, only one is TPing. Oh no, it was yeah, just one. Was yeah, yeah, it was just one. I I thought both and players both. were in there. So I'm curious now. I I'm gonna check the TPR teams and see if I think. I will just leave it uncommented because I don't want to get yep. flamed. <laughs> and yellow is just trying to get experience from all these acolytes here. Um, Panda almost level 6, Potom soon level 5, so that will be very helpful in fights where he has chimeras and his orc ally has vibrance. Ooh, that's uh was one of them random or did they all pick races? They all picked <laughs> Okay. So who do we have? Super Kimura Trunks Great Dark. Well well it could be Toxi Grinta as Elf. Uh should have good micro since he's a solo player. And Inar as Org could be as well, but I would try hard enough for this. Well, Toxic Grinder said he, he likes creep routes and stuff. So, maybe. So, who else could it be like Neutron and O Stone? Also, possibility. I'm. Even if Ostone is an old school FFA player, he's he's not the most FFA guy, in my opinion. So that would fit as well. Because I don't think the orc is pure FFA. Uh Yanker, Asian. 
five. Um, there are so many players to this TBR, like it's really difficult, I think. Yeah. Wow, and the panda really got to level six up here in the north. I hate these pauses. DV, TGW, one of the B100. B100 doesn't have a good elf in his team. If it's not TGW or DV playing elf, since they are all supposed to be on main race, I don't see it being B100. Arnikai, Lunatic, Ready. So I would go either with Neutron and O Stone or Toxic Grinta and Ina. For the yellow team. The other two teams, it's much harder to tell, I believe, because they are. There is like ne nothing I say is like not standard what I have seen yet. Nothing outstanding. Let me go through this chat. Okay, blue is going 100, so um, the blue undead. Um, this expansion ran dry, so only the orc mining still. So I think it's it's good for defensive purposes to go 100. It needs to be careful to not like be caught here by this. It's like very risky to cross the entire map with three worms, just like without your army. <laughs> It's pretty risky, I think. <laughs> so many worms against Dark Ranger. Like, it's five worms for the brown team. And I think, like, seven worms for this light blue team. So that's crazy. And two worms for the orc. <laughs> it's some of the feeling that Light blue under is infinity. I don't know why. I have. We we have banshee style. Banshees with anti magic shield. Who does that? Yeah, and why? Like, is it? I mean. What well, against nuke? I guess. Yeah, but I mean, there's not much go. nuke. Like, there's a panda here, but what? Like, what other damage if they are planning to fight? Well, yeah. it's also against pets. Right, yeah, you're, like you're right. It's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. It's new. You're right. And it looks looks cool. With Bloodlust and... Only Fortune, maybe. <laughs> Anti-Magic <laughs> Shell and Bloodlust is crazy. Rarely seen that on a, on a worm. So look what we have now. Yellow team, zero expansions. Other teams are sharing the map. That's what happens if you finish talking too early yeah i mean they got their, their bit of gold so i think they are like they are on 5k gold which is yeah you're right it's almost nothing but like no team has 10k like no player has 10k gold so everyone's rather low on gold oh and a big fight here five all hippers are getting right nuked yeah but they still yeah. melt yeah, these they, still do the damage. they are low hp but they are enough not a nova or something we killed so many of them but it has out. Wow, and it's, directly it's so lucky for the brown team to keep all of these hippos alive. So if he manages to heal them now, that's like like that was like ten to twelve hippos could have died there to just one more swarm on Nova. So that's a huge deal that all these hippos survived. Unless ye yellow is uh, yellow may go for it. No, okay. Like, what races would you have preferred if if you was 
if you would have played this game too, what would have been the two races you would have liked to see most for your team? Um, I, I like Elf and Undead. I think Elf and Undead is super solid. Um, like early game, mid game, late game. I think Elf, Undead, and Orc, um, Elf, like same as in. On this yeah. map, at least, I think same as in um, 2 versus 2. Panna is getting hacked, gets focused, but survives for HP. Yellow has to disappear there because he's alone against 2 at the moment. As if we all leaves it there alone and doesn't get away. Yeah, I understand your point, but I, I believe like the strongest late game team should be Alt Human. Like, you have tanks with KOTG Ultimate, you have tanks with plus damage from Potem Aura, you have Paladin Aura, Armor, so you have Inner Fire on your on your, on your chimps. Yeah, on, tank, I think it's, it's yeah on, on bigger maps, but I think on, on many maps, you before even getting there, you just die. Like on, on this map, I, I think on, on really large maps where every player gets like 10k gold, um, I, I agree, like human gets super strong late game once yeah. all heroes are high level. You can level. start with like rifles, you can start with be a rifle. I'm I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Um, I th I think it's not. I, I think casters are really creating a more like I think I think it's all about efficiency in in Team FFA, and I think casters are very. But efficient. you also have mass DPS human. Yeah, but only late game. At some point, obviously, that becomes a huge deal. But I'm not. Yeah. I think it. It's. Okay, early game, it's not weak, and in late game, it's super dominant. It should beat everything. Maybe, yeah. I think gy I, I've not seen many Team FFA since they buffed the gyros, so um, I'm not I, I, I'm not like really aware of like the strength of gyros in um, Team FFA. You but don't need, you don't even need gyros. Tanks will do the job. They won't die. They have aura from Paladin, Inner Fire, KOTG. Heal, use tanks as well. Yeah, they I have damage plus from Potem. Like it's so insane. There's flash damage. With yeah, I, I agree. Aura. I agree on paper. But if you, yeah, does raw effect tanks? I don't know. Um, I don't know Is either. Is it another damage plus for for mechanical units? I Probably know. I think on paper, on point on paper, you're right. But I think it's still like tranquility is awesome. But also tanks these days against like if you play against double AOE heroes like against Panda, Dreadlord, um, I think it doesn't Tinker. Matter with, with, yeah, with, it's uh, with KOTG Ultimate. Yeah, at some and point with Paladin Aura they have an inner fire. They, they get like I, I don't know like but plus that's... nine armor could get healed with one hundred twenty HP per second. Yeah, but armor isn't if armor isn't affecting uh, magic damage, so it's like a uh, skill sorry spell damage so it doesn't really matter for that i think and i agree with you like once you get mass tp once you get tranquility it's awesome but before that i think it's very squishy so i'm not a huge fan of of human um elf on on a map like this i think undead is way easier to sustain with like the gold you get here um so and orc with casters also good so not a huge well, fan of human here but Let's see, like... Well, let's agree to disagree then. Yes, That's yes, fine yes. Well. That's fine. That's the beauty of Warcraft 3 and Evan. And in... 10 people and 10 different... And I'm so... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm surprised to see that Blue spent, like, all gold. Just, to, like, it's it's just not much gold. Like, it's just two... Like, three, four K is just not much. Like, that's one army basically so they spent all the gold to secure this mine here so the orc yeah so everyone's out of gold um no 5k so gold brown team gets some income there's three gold mines well one is running out one is mining so yeah in second they only have one actual gold mine and that elf has so a lot of gold Yeah, and they have most food, so, so they are far ahead now. Like the yellow team is mining a little bit. But, Ooh, and, and all the bets 
Very it's nice splitting. Panda nice nuke there on the Panda. The SH is getting hard focused, was super greedy there. Not using TP or the heal bolt, but he made it out. Yeah, and the light blue team here with very low levels still. Like obviously they want to use the bets as efficiently as possible here to get some levels because at some point it's just not as easy anymore to get levels. And level three alchemist is just very, it's just dying very quickly. I think you could even consider to reskill to, um, to reskill to heal spray potentially. I think heal spray level two. Maybe. Um, like, I, I don't think this alchemist is worth much. Obviously, Acid Bomb very good with bets, but they will be out of bets in a second. So, um, interesting. Yeah, I, I do think they need to kill these brown expansions at some point. Then the one expansion isn't even mining. Like, is it for long now? It's not even mining. Yeah, they have finished that. So the dark brown team obviously has the most gold, I believe. Yeah, bro, bro. Yeah, most gold. I, I think that's like that's the advantage of fighting that early. And like the yellow team, it's in Team FFA usually all teams run out of gold very quickly. And if you get to level six and your enemies are not, Pitlord in this case and Dark Ranger are just so amazing. If your enemies don't have any gold, you get all their units basically. And also they have great like anti um, like anti army damage with the panda with the pit lord. So um, I think yellow is in a great shape here. They just need to be very careful of the brown team. I think the brown team here with the worm chimeras huge risk. Like if everyone runs out of gold, they I don't think they can't hold an attack here. They can only try to charm and doom um, chimeras and worms over time. So I think Brown needs to make something happen now. So yellow keeps being aggressive. Aggressive, like we could stay back a bit, but apparently, you will. I understand that they hit that gold mine if they stop afterwards because they wanted gold. Like more about getting that gold than like having war with Brown at the moment, I would assume. I can't be wrong, of course, but they continue now. It would be a declaration of one. Yeah, yellow seems to be going to the other expansion as well. I think if I would be the brown team, like obviously you want to play it passively maybe, but I think the brown team could try to fight the blue team. It's, I think, a risk, but they need experience. Like they need levels. Level three um, heroes here will just die instantly against these um against yellow heroes late game so i think they need levels and blue is the only way to get them so i i personally would like to see them attacking light blue again so i'm like 80 percent sure now that yellow is either and yellow is top sprinter okay we might suggest Right. But Dark Brown is heavy on those worms, and I, ask them, and I understand that. I believe worms are fucking great in Tune Tune Tune, simply because they have so much HP and 10 <laughs> Yeah, I think if you if you look at Light Blue, they only have like seven bats left. No, eight, nine, nine bats. But that's not enough to kill anything here of the Brown army, I think. So if they do it well. Like three to four bats to kill one worm. Yeah, so I think if the brown team attacks that now, that will be like the perfect location to attack into all these um, blue blue units yeah. and heroes. But they may get suicided in return, so obviously it's a risk. But I think like it's so frustrating to be stuck on level three heroes, and it, like you can only team late game. There's just no if you don't have gold, you can't do anything but just teaming. Um, especially if you face Dark Ranger and um, Pit Lord level 6. So I think fighting is key. And they haven't found a lot this game. Like they found early and then. Yeah. So it's surprising to me how low these heroes are still. Like for Dark Ranger team. If the game is going on for I don't know how many minutes. 
like almost an hour soon. Little, like 50 yeah, minutes. Yeah. Like three, four, five. Not a single out he made. Yeah, they. Under, uh, yeah. Five, three, three. So yeah. Hero level was quite a problem for them. Yeah, I think they pieced too early. I think they. Um, I think they pieced this um, this bottom right team too early. I think they could have fouled once more to get some levels. Also, I like on this elf. I think items are even, especially with these heroes. Like if you have low levels, are even more important. So, for example, on this dark ranger, I personally would sell the claws, like both claws, just to get periods, like just periods and invul over and over. I think it's in team FFA. It's even more important because there's more nuke. So I think periods. In, you you don't need like you don't need much, but staffs. And he doesn't have a single staff, right? Yeah. Okay. He has one. Um, he basically only needs in, in team FFA staffs, sc scrolls, invul, and periods, and a TP, obviously, or two TPs. But like the dark brown undead, for example, he he could easily. Buy some stats from the elf shop. Yeah. It's always a good. But rarely players are doing this in TNT and because they are not like singing outside of. Let's call it thing outside of the box. Because they have completely new possibilities for the teammate, FFA. Yeah, I think staffs are in Team FFA, maybe because we don't play it as regularly. But I think it's like it is still with this gold count, like the undead has two. 2.2k gold i think it would still be worth it to get at least one or two staffs like it's so amazing yeah, yeah. for undead um so yeah i i, I totally agree it's, it's also just not common because of the game type like uh, even in team games like four on four or something you, you rarely get the game to a length where length where no. you can buy stuff from the shop of your alley how so team, yeah. you usually have to you can even buy that uh, Build up like two, three shops if you want. Yeah. No problem. How about how about getting a necropolis? Like just an idea to get a necropolis and then to tech your like it only really makes sense if you lose your black citadel in your main, but to get your new necropolis in the elf main. So if you staff, you staff your heroes to the moon worlds. I think it will be even more powerful for undeads. Like if undeads yeah. could play like elf, that would be amazing. I think. Yeah. But, but I will if usually do most times if you have an elf alley, you will build some room with in your base like the yellow tea. Can you see and Yeah, but you usually don't get enough yellow. moon welts, like you don't have enough gold to really fill an entire ally main base with, with moon welts. So well you don't need that many. You just need some for them heroes. No. Like four, like four is completely fine, I believe. I mean, you also, if if you don't have, if you don't step your heroes home every twenty seconds on like ten HP or something, then four should be enough. It's like an emergency, like not the, not that it's always used. So I, I like the radar usage here of uh, yellow orc. I admit I'm often too lazy to do it, for, but it's. Especially in this situation where the game calms down and you are low on resources, pillaging like an entire base is, yeah, it's, it's quite helpful. Look at the way um, Light Blue placed all these center uh, rewards in the center. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, it's very symmetric. Yeah, very artful here. Um, I'm I'm a bit scared of these master necromancers. Like as we know, may cause desyncs if you use it for frenzy. He already used frenzy. Yeah, but um, let's see. He used it like ten minutes ago in some fight. And yeah, st still. At some point, it's. I, I think every time you use it, there's like a risk it will just desync you. So I'm I am. I just hope they will die. Like these necromancers, so. So soon all these mines will be empty, right? Yeah, okay, this one almost out of gold and 1,600 here. Almost 4k, like that's still a huge mine.
It is getting a little bit too calm for my taste. I want, I want to snatch. Everyone is sitting. Well, they are mining. Two teams at least are mining. Dark brown team is afraid to act because of their low levels and they are rather passive in general, I believe. We want to see some action. Or not. Sure. Um, but I think there will be, like, uh, we saw a very action-packed match until this well, point. Orc is building another torrent token. Like, why? He doesn't have the resources for his second one. He doesn't need that. He already has one. Uh, I guess he missed it. I don't know. It makes some sense to make this now. I mean, it's the the building with the most um, HP, except the main building and the war mill. So, oh no, that's nah. that's not right. It's I not thought it would have. Did they did they decrease the? I think they nerfed it, right? They lowered it at some point because it had more experience, no? Uh, sorry, more HP, no? I think it had more HP. 1.2k, I will. I think it had the most of all production buildings at some point. And I think they nerfed it. So, was one point, would have needed 1.3 then to be above normal barrack. Yeah. Right. But yeah, I, I believe as well it was a little bit higher. It's a, it makes no sense already doing like spamming torrent totem at this stage of the game just to be prepared for the case. I would rather. Yeah, yeah, to for sure. Than have three of lives of the town is under siege. You know, if there was a human here, he could. Just sneak in some in this unit and just randomly master people. I would love to. Like in the team FFA I played last with Tyrant, he would just be sending where we also finished our enemies too soon and got teamed quite hard. And he was just sending shades to the main bases of our two opponent teams. And I was just mastering there to like build buildings and spread them apart from teaming us. The tyrant was too lazy sending new shades so I couldn't mess TP as much as I wanted. <laughs> so I lost the game due to him, due to his laziness. We needed more shades. Well, and then, uh, yes. Here. Yeah, we do see the yellow team towering up here. And honestly, with these heroes and against these very low level heroes, I'm. Usually I don't like towering up, but I think in this case it could be a very smart move here by them to get all these towers. Um, so there's no tinkerer here, there's no... So there's literally nothing that can stop them. Like there, there's a panda, but I think there's a panda, right? Uh, no, there's not even a panda, right? Um, the elf? What does the elf have? Okay, there's this level 4 panda, but that's the only, like, base race heroes so i think the, these towers could become very powerful for the yellow team could be very difficult to break this they have much higher levels so okay like since we have nothing else to do let's I, I would say let's keep guessing players but since you won't guess with me i guess I yeah I'll, i will it. just i will just get myself a second beer uh, and you yeah. you can get some players so like blue and then what do we have? We have one temple, we have only two crypts. I, I understand not going mass crypts in Team FFA, but but isn't that more a solo wish? Still, like wouldn't the normal FFA under player still spam crypts even in Team FFA? I guess he yeah. I guess he's used it. So, so probably more like not the most what's Mediterranean FFA player, I would say. And the org, what do we have here? For B series, sort of weird tower position, sort of weird barrack position. Usually, we... so this shop is weird. I'm usually, back. Yeah, usually as org, where you would get your wood alone on a corner. So it's easier to access. 
I don't think if you if you step down from the ramp in the church, you can access the shop in this And Brown is going for the blue main base. I think that's a yeah. huge mistake potentially. I mean, I think it's it's okay to this point, but it may be. Well, they should have done this move like five minutes ago, so they have to keep you home and they can kill the expansion. Maybe. And now, oh, and the yellow team goes for them here. Ah, they're TPing. Wow, getting a worm out of it. So was this randomly or was there an old? I, I didn't see an old scouting this and there was no chat. So this was complete randomly that they all waited like 10 minutes doing nothing and then boosted it <laughs> at the, at the no, same time. No, someone wrote so go now, so um, I guess that's okay. why they attacked. Um, are we in their base? Ah, okay, I, I didn't read. I had. So yeah, blue team what? having 4k gold left, and I'm not a fan that they invested in bets. Honestly, I mean, I think they need some anti-air on paper, but like they can't get enough bets, I think, to kill any of that stuff. I, maybe it's it's still fine because they want levels and maybe bets are still the best way to get it. But I would rather like, to, I don't know, like bets are just so not efficient. But I guess it's fine. Yeah, for defense, I guess it's still the best way to kill air. And the yellow team is on their way down. So I think the yellow team could go for an all-in attack almost. Like there's not much gold left here for the brown team. Like the brown team has two armies, but I'm not sure the brown team can break the yellow main base. And they're trying to go for the neck here. He was charming another bet, so that's on top very annoying here. So these orc towers are really bad in the yellow battle. More often you can just... <laughs> yeah, you can kill most of them. You should have put them a little bit in the back so that when they are up the ramp, the towers will be won't be easily hard to lane set easily, you know what I mean? You can yeah, yeah, yeah. Before having to fight them already. Yeah, that's true. It's and probably. I like that the yellow team is diving very deep here and the brown team is not attempting to help, so I'm in I'm curious why the brown team is staying so passively. I mean they should know. They have no chance against yellow alone, so I think they need to like being the brown team, I think you it it all goes so quickly in Team FFA. So I think you need to stay somewhat close with your army to, like the place you're most likely needing to like where you're most likely need needed at some point. So. But, but I but I understand it. Like the yellow team has night levels and everything, but the light blue team hasn't even fought him yet. They're just waiting. So. I would wait to, so that the both teams weaken each other more. Yeah, but the brown team isn't even scouting. Like, they have no scouts here in the bottom right, so they have no idea what's happening. And... <laughs> yeah, that's bad play. That's bad play. You always need one try hard in the team with, like, scouts. Wow, and that shade that was left here in that base was the level 6 for the TC, which could be a huge deal. Well, that code won't die anyway. Yeah, most likely not. Okay, they, they are trying to go together. I think this will be the point in time where the yellow team, like the yellow team needs to... Needs to... The main base of the yellow team. Yeah, I guess so too. I think the yellow team, like, I mean, doesn't... They, they, they do... Why, they... Help, why help defending when you can harm yellow main base when yellow team harms the blue main base and you weaken them way more? Yeah, I agree. Being the yellow team, I think it's the right call not trying to fight this. Like, you don't want to fight four players. Uh, yeah, four players. So, they are on the run here. Dark Ranger for Brown, not even level 6. So, there's not much risk here to, like, lose units on the run. Needs to be careful with all these casters. And there's no speed scroll, is there? No. I think a speed scroll would have been nice here. Okay, if, if, if that TC dagger there and would have... 
missed the stomp or on the necro, I would have been sure it's better. <laughs> but since he hit a unit, I'm not that sure. <laughs> Usually, better doesn't hit anything. So these are like the little tricks you can use to identify players. Like if you played Storm says own oh, Altar, it's probably alien playing it since you did that yesterday. You didn't see this any day. Like missing every single enemy unit but only blade summon your own out. It only can be only alien for himself. So they are going for the orc main, which is the weaker one. To finish that one off first, that is the correct route. I think now with the brown team split up, I think it would be a good call for the yellow team attacking here, like trying to snap to to um, snipe all these castles. I think this is like yeah, doing this. I think the undead, yeah, the undead should not stay alone here. I think that's super risky. Like He's going back. Yeah, I'm very glad for him that they have no speed score. Like he will be hacked. Yeah, he should slip the TC. He should slip the TC, but he's not doing it. Because he's not a strong player. Uh, Ron is not the strongest player. He could have easily slept in this. Yeah. And also could have um, perched it with the invul. So. Yeah, I think the yellow team, like you see, they are undecided whether they just want to let go this um, orc main base. Um, I think. I think they could try to fight this, don't you think? Yeah, they have like, I mean, they have towers to fall back into, they have movers, they have dark ranger, like, and they have a pillar. Every time the other team attempts a try to attack and they will directly lose two units just to this ulti. Yeah, exactly. So I think they could, yeah, and they are um, they using raw now. So because the other units are delayed. So this will come down now a lot to how well this team together and i don't think these two the other teams the players are co would will be coordinating as great as they should and I, money is and I really dislike that brown is like what's brown doing here why is the dreadlord just standing around here out on the map like that's super risky Like, what's Brown Undead doing here? So, so I think Brown Undead is some of the newer players that I'm familiar with. Okay. I yeah. Think, I, I, I checked some of the TBR names and I don't know even. I, I don't even know every one of them. So I think he's one of the newer guys. Okay, now they are going. And these towers are very exposed here, but I think if they are searching. Like, if they are taking the fight well, they should be able to kill, like, one of these armies entirely. I think they should just target for the brown one, because he's, like, very exposed. The blue team seems more, like, carefully, like, more careful here. Um, they're just trying to keep back, so the, I think the brown team is the one to go oh, for. Get oh, that's a nice Nova Swarm there, getting rid of some hippos. It was nice in that. So... Oh, they're moving out, and I mean, brown and blue are split, so I think it's not like I don't think the yellow team yeah, should move out. So and brown they have, alone, yeah, the, the yellow team doesn't have much AoE here against air. That's a disadvantage of not having an undead and not having like a tinker. You really only have this one panda to fight air. There is something here. Wow. Wow, and yeah. Brown. What's Brown oh, doing? Okay. Brown is flying in with all the hippos. That's like suicide by the Brown team. So the, the Brown under hasn't used uh, Necro spell to even buff anything. Yeah, that was really not a good fight by the Brown team here. Oh, what's he doing? Down. Yeah, yeah, yellow the team. Is going down as well. He attacks Ogi. Was Perch still died? Yeah, yeah. Nice. He had no staff, so I think that's very. That was very. Um, 
think we level six now for the loot player. Pause because all late. If there comes in nowhere, and, oh, and it is tipping out. Yeah, I think that was at first. I think that so that fight could have could have um, worked out a way better for the yellow team. I think at first the yellow team did perfectly well to fight the brown team to the left, but then for some reason the elf went right like on his own with three heroes into both light blue armies. So I think that was a huge mistake here by. Um, yeah, and now the enemies are getting some levels. Now they are getting dangerous. Yeah. But brown is. And like they use the units, so the brown elf down to 1.2k gold, 64 supply only. That panda still not level five, and um, yeah, the brown undead is pretty much toast. Like also 48 supply, 992 gold, and light blue is like they have an army still. Like they have all these worms, but worms will just get charmed over time. And these hippos are not. I, I don't feel these hippos will. Like, will. Uh, sorry, these bats will do. Oh, look. Yeah, I completely missed this. Yeah, 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 but he pulled them back, but I don't think they will. Like, be a huge deal, but maybe. I mean, the, yellow doesn't have many hippos left, so. Let's see. Well. Do do you think the yellow team should attack now? Like, do, uh, attack the light blue team? Or should they? I, I think they should. Like, they will charm units so they can even... Like, they will just kill two, two worms every time they attack. Yeah, but if they just sit back, like, what can happen to them? If they have the way better levels, and the other teams don't have much food or gold anymore. So yeah, you're... I, yeah, you're right. I don't like, think they should fight into the undead base, but I think it's... From it's... an entertaining point of view, I say they should act because I'm bored. <laughs> but like, from playing with, I believe they should just sit, let them come, and if they come, they just charm the shit and kill the heroes. Yeah. But I think that they have a chance, as they do here, to really um, catch some of the reinforcements. I think they're moving too far away from their main base. Um, as you... yeah, but now they're ex but now they're let's let's talk about a scenario. Like now yellow team is going for brown base to charm some units. Now they should just act and the uh, gray team should go for their main base to make them TP away. For sure, yeah. That's why I was saying, like I think the yellow team should go um, either back into their own main base. Um, yeah. Or stay where they are, just at the fountains, and try to catch. Like the brown is very running around with heroes very carelessly, so I think they could try to snipe like some heroes out on the map because there's no enemy hero that could really do harm to them. Like they're still very low level. Like okay, DK level six now, Dreadlord level five, but that's all not. Hey, it's getting better, I guess. Like. It's not as bad as I thought, but as long as this alchemist is still level, not level six, I think they are fine. And they are meeting here now to go for another attack. And I think this might be the last attack. A lot of chimps, a lot of worms, only a few hippos, but with 12 heroes, you don't have to kill the enemy or riders. Heroes are still low, going for the job. Yes, they should. Yeah, that's, that's a problem with the times. They will just get easily sniped. They have strength to charm something, but they are out of range. Get silenced now, can't charm anything. Oh, Wyvern out of position there. He already gets sneak. Wyvern survives. A lot of hit and run at the moment. They are not really in position to charm anything either. Very nice, place. very nice sleeps here on that Dark Ranger now. He got one yeah. Wyvern. And one one camera. Yeah, but that was well done. They kept the dog range out of range for a long time and kept denying the charms, which is not easy with so many units. And while having to take care of not attacking the other team you're teaming up with, they got quite something done. Got a rid of good long towers and chimera roots. So yellow team is forced to move out now. Gets a hex on the sh. But are they are they forced to move out? Isn't the other team forced to move in? Like they they just charm the shit over them. Oh, well, they already lost some terrorists. 
And now they just make the dark rain the TP. Yeah. Oh, and Brown has no TP? Okay. He has one on the dark, on the death knight. But these two TPs are very painful. It hurts. Yeah, it hurts. And they have to reposition our team up again and like light blue is quite close to yellow, but it moves small so he doesn't get caught. So they didn't really accomplish much. Yeah, they true. killed a few buildings, lost two TPs or even more TPs. I like how everyone in Twitch chat is um like yesterday in game and today in Twitch chat, I hear so often that someone's either side or neutron. Like it's always side or neutron. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, no, this I TK. Didn't think so. Oh, yeah. That kill like that uh, escalated quickly. And need to be careful here. Like Brown is pretty dead, so these undead heroes like are not really a big help, but they will just feed experience to this yellow team. Question is, will the blue team use the bets like while they are out on the map or will they just wait for late game? So now it's what, what we will see. So night silence there. So now we have like three armies versus two. We're more like two armies versus two. So this will be a deciding fight. Yeah, so for can, sure. And this looks quite good for the yellow team, I must say. Yeah, but uh, needs to be careful here not to lose. I think blue team should kite back to kill these hippos first. Um, it's incredible how many yellow frost worms are in this fight without yellow having an under. Oh yeah, the dark ranger almost dying though, but losing. Look at this. Look at all these yellow frost worms. Yeah, and that was very painful for light blue and for brown they they lost so much and the yellow team did really well keeping yeah. all the stuff to, alive yeah. so well, nice maybe, fight maybe it's old stone and neutron i don't know whoever whoever it is they are doing a really great job they're showing great game understanding and great micro and they had a creeper all prepared so they try hard a lot so, yeah. And the bets Playing are good out. And that this is... is a deserving win, in my opinion. They did a few mistakes only. Oh, and, and they now... are moving out on the map? The... Yeah, they should do that. They can easily catch some heroes now. Yeah, but they yeah, need... They're going to lose that shadow hunter now that all the bets Ooh. come in. But that was yeah, very that's... nice betting. And the hippos... Yeah, well... are... ah. the, the... The problem with Charm is that the worms are only zero armor, zero zero tech. They are easily easy food for the bats now. Now the TC is dying but probably has the ultimate right now. Pops the anvil pot. So ultimate might be on cooldown, so it could be a juicy target. Nice coil on the dog ranger in the last moment. Wow. Should have coiled the TC instead, maybe. And try to kill it. Yeah, if these hippos like but these now, hippos. Now. The L gets hacked, gets a call. Has a TP oh, though. Has a call. Yeah. Needs to be careful though. Like these undead orc heroes are very scary. Um, scary. They, they aren't going for the TC because they believe the ultimate is ready. But he used the ingwall on it like 10 seconds before. You wouldn't do that with, with, an, with the ultimate ready, I believe. I don't know. It might have been worth a nuke. Oh, and now the orc from the back, so need to be very careful here. It is this is basically a hero arena now. But they can't and take they this. Well. Well, the well, the alchemist is surrounded. Alchemist is going down, yeah. It has an invul pop, but that's why it shouldn't have popped that. Oh, and the TC, down. the TC, the blue TC, um, having... He's giving him a health pot for what? He's surrounded, he will die. Okay, alchemist dies, and this is very scary, okay. TP's out, will they be able to kill the Dreadlord? A lot of damage? No, no. okay. Um, but like the brown team is... Uh, I think they should use, like they should have used their units. Now it's getting too late, like just four units will just disappear against Dark Ranger and Pit Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This they, is open now. They are coming to you, yeah. So. Yeah, I, I believe this is GG. Like yellow team played well. 
and I the best hope for the other teams is to call the disc with Necro. I think it's very impressive that the blue team caught up in levels. Like the yellow team, obviously the blue team had more gold at some point and the, they had a lot of bets, but still I, I didn't expect... Like the yellow team, um, like level 7, level 7, 6, 6 is, is, should be enough to win this, but I think these heroes, like these undead heroes are really scary. And I think in this case it's very very beneficial for the yellow team that their first heroes can't get coiled like that dark ranger and pitlot can't get nuked by these undead heroes really so that will make yeah. things a lot a lot worse now and yeah now the they might try to go for the final attack um, yeah going for the sh is the right move yeah, but the, yeah, the DK without periods is just instantly dying. So this might be it. Uh, wow, nice yeah. kill here. So they just going for it. Um, was getting focused. Like they completely focus different targets. But even if they focus the same, I think they might have been able. Wow, the panda. Okay, doesn't matter. No, no. Three HP. Ah, staff. To... Oh, he could have staffed. <laughs> So the one team started to nuke the SH, which was the correct move, but the other team slept the SH there to disable him from healing another hero. Yeah, that's true. The, I the, think the yeah, man we suck. <laughs> that's probably who at this point. I All think right. they might have been able to kill maybe they like one. He they might have been able to they kill maybe one him. hero here, but I think that would have done yeah, the job. They could have done more. Like if they had coordinated correctly. Like, in chat, you should have written like, okay, go pot him first, or go SH first, like sleep SH, go pot him. Something like this. They can, they should easily be able to one hit and pot him with like, what did they have, 10 heroes or something? That shouldn't have been a problem. They didn't do this, they focus different targets, bringing them down to like 50 to 60 HP, which wasn't helpful in sleeping to stop the focus. That was just not well done by them. It could have done a better job there. But, but yeah, as I said, the only team that is playing like really, really great together and seem to have a game plan from start to finish is the yellow one. It's really deserved win of mode. I think the yellow team, I mean, it's it doesn't really matter. I think they should go for the blue team now because the blue team lost a hero too, like the DK and and the Lich too. And the blue team has like the way stronger heroes. So I think, yeah, and that's what they're doing now, I guess. They're getting mana and they need to finish blue. Like, I think the blue team is the big, was the bigger threat. I think it's not mattering anymore at this point, but... The blue team needs to die first, like in their eyes, I guess. So, yeah, I think that that's a typical mistake by the brown team. Like you don't like hoarding is nice and stuff, but in the end, in Team FFA, like five to eight, ten, uh, five to ten k is not a lot of gold, and you better use it yeah. for fighting, because you like for fighting a team that you can get experience of. Because in the end, as we saw, like even two armies with like 80 supply are not worth much. You're just losing units too quickly um, if, yeah. if the heroes are too high. So I think they should have fouled the blue team um, earlier. The orc and under can get all the heroes back. They have nine out of altar and as well. Yeah, I think the yellow team should... Like, I, I don't think they can lose this anymore, but I think they should speed it up. I think they should go for the blue main base here instantly. Yeah. Like it's why good. why would you wait for the DK to come back? Like that's without the DK this these undead heroes that are really scary for your for your units are just well, they're, um, going now. Dying. they're going now. They hesitated a bit. Now they're going for the finishing move. And that's correct what they should do. Let's hope they end their suffering quite quickly. And yellow following the bottom, apparently. The bottom is walking directly over the water. Yellow, which he should have seen with his own. Probably not the smart source to camp there. Well, yellow coming. And yeah, this will be the end of the yellow. 
for FTP. Yeah, uh, DK not back and DK yeah. will not get back with mana, I guess. TC has Unk re has reincarnation ready. And they yeah. should go for yeah, they should go for the Yandet heroes as long as the DK isn't back yet. So um well, they're splitting their focus now as well. Ed is going for Undead, or is going for Orc. But in the end it shouldn't matter. To I think they need to be from behind. I think they need to be a bit careful here. But okay, the DK might die. Ah. Oh, nice! A lot of second save. We'll put that dead red lord with a recoil. Uh, that was late out. That's so much damage. All of the control group, it seems. They are just ignoring the alchemist. <laughs> yeah, that's so much damage. Good. Doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. Now the alchemist will get another storm. There is another storm. Doom Gorge can't stop as well, but he doesn't fall up. Yeah, that time we get attacked as well. GG for like the groups. Cheeky noobs that doesn't sound like <laughs> it sounds more like it. Yeah. So, um congrats. It's the second victory for Kibolo Brothers. It was uh, from what I remember, it should be Ina and Toxigrinta, as you pointed out correctly. The um the human under team that was defeated first was Yanker Zam and Soso, I think. What? And the I didn't expect that. The bottom right team B one hundred and D V and the brown team I guess Tom and R Z and I, so one of the new players. R Z and I? Yeah, I guess. Um that was okay. him. It was under them, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I guess Tom was the well, didn't I even say like brown, dark brown under could be a new player? I didn't know. But yeah, as so so and young, I completely didn't see that one coming. And the light blue team were okay, but like. It, it was the BMP 100. I, I wouldn't have to get that. Was that like. A, well, of course, you had like. 100,000 bets, and that's always the sign that it's B100. Yeah, I think it's that is the most player of all time, but, I... but it's also good in the I think this this was a was a good showcase for like how preparation really matters in TBR. Like if you like, you obviously saw the two teams that really yeah, but... invested most preparation but... time that had the best chances to win. TV. And B one hundred didn't prepare. No, so that's like, that's what I was saying. Like I think they prepared too, but maybe not as well as as Ina and Toxicrinta. I I hardly thought of that somehow because TV is like super tactical in these kind of situations. And B one hundred is Mister Okri Browns. Yeah, but I mean, eventually it's it's, it's market, so there are not many there are not many creeps available. So um, I think it's tricky. See, I, I'm I'm completely surprised how wrong planning we had in this game. I must admit, like like on paper, I would have said simply from the names that either So So or Yanka will be dominating or BB and B100 simply by the planning. But it, but in the end, it was Tina and Greta are playing really nice. Uh, really good together, that's a uh, great symphony, in my opinion, and it was great game by theirs. So, congratulations to your win, you Yeah, congratulations, and thanks for casting this me with me. Um, if you type uh, exclamation mark TBR into chat, you find the link to the scoreboard and schedule. Um, yeah, uh, more games this weekend, four more, actually two on Saturday, two on Sunday, and we will cast uh, or stream and cast all of them. So yeah, thanks for casting this with me. And, uh, it was a pleasure to cast with you. Yeah, thanks, and uh, yeah, have a great rest of the evening. Yes. Bye-bye.